Hey friend, welcome. I'm Jen. I'm a part-time online clothing reseller and that means I go to thrift stores, I buy used clothes, and I sell them online as a profit. For a profit. Uh, today is... What day is today? Tuesday, <laughs> February 6th. Yesterday was Monday and I usually share with you what I sold, but I sold nothing yesterday. Not a thing. Nothing on Poshmark, nothing on eBay nothing so that's uh a bummer not not what not what you want but i thought i would share with you um kind of an unhaul i guess is what i'm calling it probably people have called it that before i'm not super original with things but uh i have been going through my inventory for the past month and a half i, I started at the first of the year so a little i mean a little over a month and I have been taking out some of the low hanging fruit, as they might say. So most of these items I've had for over a year, all of them I've had for over a year, and they just haven't sold for whatever reason. So probably low sell through rate. Maybe I priced it too high. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's undesirable. Maybe it had uh, flaws that I wasn't aware of when I bought it. Um, but I'm just going to show you what I'm not selling on eBay. So these are things that have been listed on eBay and some Poshmark, most of them have been listed on Poshmark, um, but they didn't sell. So let's start off. This is a, uh, vintage sweater vest. It's like felt, um, it's called red mountain clothing. I don't know. It's one size. It's a larger size, but it didn't sell. I had heard that, um, I don't have a good place to put these. Uh, I had heard that vests were in for, you know, a while and I don't know. I don't think I sell very many vests. This is a wool coat and it's kind of a bomber jacket style. It's H and M. I think I got this at the bins because I don't usually buy like H and M to resell. But I thought the style and with it being actually wool, that it would be okay. Uh, but it wasn't. It didn't sell. So a lot of these items I will resell at um, a local consignment sale that we have in our area twice a year. So I'll sell them there. Um, there's a few things I might try and like lot together. I don't know. This is like one fourth of the items like I'm not showing you everything. This is just an Under Armour plain old Jane t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's too basic to be anything. This is a pair of jeans that I thought kind of looked like that 90s skater style. Um, yeah, it's called On The OTB. I think it's On The Bum is what OTB stood for, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. I don't know. Anyway, they had that like baggy, loose, kind of late 90s Y2K kind of style. I find a lot of vintage things, but vintage, I don't know, sometimes it's tricky. These are vintage little kid uh, shorts. They're actually just Carter's brand, but I thought they were super cute with this little um, you know, flower on there, but they're pretty faded. They just, I don't know, nobody wanted those. Another little kids thing. Uh, kids stuff doesn't sell for me. This is like a boutique brand called Simply Charlotte. How cute is that? But didn't sell. Uh, this is Hannah Anderson, which is a brand, a kids brand. I will, I'm sorry, my band-aid, that's annoying. Uh, I just about cut the tip of my finger off a couple days ago. Uh, so I'm, I'm sorry about the Band-Aid. It's gonna annoy me. Anyway, this is Hannah Anderson. Just a little sweater skirt. So Hannah Anderson is a kid's brand that I loved for my kids, but I don't know. Same with Gymboree. All these things I found at the bins and so I kind of feel like I'm rescuing them, you know? Um, I shouldn't say all of them. I think these I found. So this is just like a little poncho. It's kind of faux suede and it is embroidered. But again, I mean, as a mom, 
I don't know that I would buy a poncho for my little daughter <laughs> just because it doesn't feel like it's something that, um, yeah, anyway, it's not practical. It's just not practical. All right, so this is Matilda Jane, which is actually a kid's brand also, but this is a woman's dress. So they have uh, women's clothing too. This is kind of cute, kind of has like a ruffle thing, but it ended up having like some major discoloration and like a hole. I had it listed super low uh, just because I didn't notice those things when I bought them. Sometimes I do that. I just either there's a couple thrift stores that the lighting is terrible um sometimes I'm just not paying attention I'll be quite honest it happens this is polo by Ralph Lauren these are just pant or shorts rather like chino shorts they're real lightweight um I find that shorts like this for men will sell usually right around about $15 um and some higher, obviously, depending on what the brand is, but I don't know, those didn't sell for some reason. These are the, another Matilda Jane dress. Um, I think this was ours, like one of my girls wore it. It was like a shark bite him. I don't know that that is very popular anymore. I actually think Matilda Jane just went out of business. I don't know that that matters. Okay, this I shouldn't have bought in the first place. It's ugly. I don't know. It's vintage. And for a while I was buying like everything vintage. That's not wise. <laughs> some, some vintage stuff is ugly. Uh, like this. I don't even know what this is. It's like, I thought it was like a scrub top. I don't know. It's like a jacket. I don't know. It's ugly. That's why it didn't sell. Cause it's ugly. Uh, Columbia. Columbia doesn't sell very well for me. I know that there are some things that can sell really well. I feel like I sold a Columbia down jacket in like a 3X for a pretty good amount. But I mean, that's down <laughs> plus size. Anyway, this is just like a little jacket and it's a small. I think that was ours too, like one of my kids that I tried to resell. This is, okay. BKE, I for a while was buying a lot of BKE. Not a lot, but this is, I think, kind of cute. It has a lot of crochet kind of detail in it. It's just like an open kind of boho feel cardigan, but I don't think BKE is something that's very desirable. This is a scarf that I found like the one of the very first times that I had gone to the bins, the Goodwill outlet. And I've said the bins a couple times. If you're unfamiliar, it's the Goodwill outlet where you like dig through literal bins and then you pay by the pound. And I had watched a bunch of, you know, YouTube videos as one does. And, um, you know, heard like, oh, buy scarves because they're lightweight and blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't think scarves... At least not like fashion scarves like this. I don't think they sell very well. It's kind of like a, I think it's a Kohl's brand maybe. I don't know. It's not high value, but it was new with tags. And I like to try to rescue things from the bins. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm doing, doing good for the world by keeping things out of the landfill. Which, I mean, I'm trying to do my part a little bit in that respect. But... Oh, wasn't a wasn't a good choice. This is a sweater. It's loft, which is super oversaturated. However, this is an extra large, which usually like loft. I want to put like I like J Jill and somewhat Chico's Talbots a little bit, um, but like loft White House Black Market. There's another like career wear brand kind of, I don't know, that it's just, they're super oversaturated and they don't sell, but sometimes like the larger sizes will sell. And Taylor, which is another, this is also, this is a 2XL. These are both like pink and sheer. And honestly, if neither of them were pink or sheer, I probably would keep them because I like the style of them. 
but I don't like pink or sheer. <laughs> this actually I paid a lot of money for. Not a lot, a lot, but like $4, I think. This is cloth and stone, which is supposed to be, I always forget, is it anthropology or is it uh, Ralph Lauren? It's one of those and I'm not seeing the RN number is 132. So it must be, I think it's a Ralph Lauren brand. Anyway, I this didn't sell, I don't know. It's very light, lightweight. I wish that was my size, because that's my color. <laughs> These are RBX, which is like a pretty low line legging, and this is like tie-dye weird looking leggings, I don't know. I think one of my kiddos, I think that kid, you know, I think those were one of my kids. And this is Nike Pro, Nike Dry Fit, but again, it's just like a very basic t-shirt. Not very, it's, they're oversaturated. There's a ton of them listed and just, they're not very, um, Uh, that was a shirt that I didn't actually list. It might have been listed at some point, but, um, I might have listed it, but <sighs> there are certain things that I have decided I just don't want to list because it kind of goes against my personal value. And it was like a, a video game that, um, a t-shirt with a video game on it that I just didn't feel aligned with my personal values. And I don't care what other people do, but that's just how I do it. Uh, so that's my own thing. Uh, so that's what that is. This is a just American Eagle shirt. And actually, I don't even think I ever listed this because it was flawed in the um, like applique kind of things on here. But I do think that American Eagle and Abercrombie, if it's like spelled out like that, like the big spell outs, then... I would list it, <laughs> uh, but that one was just too flawed. I think I didn't ever list. I found these uh, college scrubs. These are uh, Indiana University. I think I have the pants that match. And I actually just sold a set of these, but these were really, really worn. And then I have some other scrubs here that were given to me by my mom that are like Wonder Wink and what is this? Gel scrubs? I don't even know what gel scrubs is. Um, anyway, my mom gave them to me to sell and they were just really worn. My mom gives me great stuff. I just sold something, yes, the other day, um, that my mom gave me to resell and it was great. I have some friends who are going on a mission trip over the summer that love. last time they went, they needed scrubs for some reason. And so I have a pile that I've been getting rid of that I'm going to ask first. I'm not just going to give them to them. Ask if they need scrubs again, and I will pass all those on. Scrubs in general, I don't think are super valuable. There are some. Uh, I just listed a pair of Cherokee Infinity, like a set for $25. That might sell for $15. Um, but yeah, these are Hollister. I don't know. It was like an experiment. I don't, I don't know where those came from. Either the bins or my favorite thrift store, probably. These are Aero Pastel, kind of the same, like little <laughs> teenage cutoff shorts. I don't know. This I thought was so cool, and I really thought it was going to sell, but I've had it for like oh a while. <laughs> this came from the storage unit that I had an opportunity with a storage unit. Everything was free for me. Um, but this is just like a little slingback Yale. I might've had it priced too high, but I've run tons of sales. So I feel like, I don't know, maybe it was just off base. I didn't, maybe it wasn't as cute as I thought it was. The graphic is kind of cracking on it. So this is another thing that came from a storage unit that is funky <laughs> and again I thought it would sell but it did have a flaw in it somewhere like a pretty major one I just don't remember where but yeah it's just kind of a funky boho kind of woven purse bag 
there was no branding on it. Okay, so there is a theme. I don't know if I have, um, uh, I have another bin back here. Seriously, I'm showing you one bin. I have four huge, like the big bins and they're overflowing. There's a lot of stuff, um, but I should tell you why I'm doing this. Why I'm doing this is my sell-through rate overall, like my personal sell-through rate isn't super high. It's only like 12%. And so I feel like if I get rid of some of this chaff, I don't know, is that a word? Uh, stuff that's not selling, then hopefully that will make my sell-through rate a little higher. I don't have a whole lot of space. Um, I've shown my space before. Um, there, I don't know what it's called, but a few months ago, I showed my space and it, it, there's just not a lot of space. And so I'm trying to make a room as well because I want to be sourcing better items, buying better things that have higher sell-through rates, um, higher average sale prices. Anyway, uh, there has been a theme of anything zebra printed. I, I don't, yeah, I'm gonna stop buying zebra print. I don't know. I personally don't like it, so I don't know why I'm buying it anyway, but I don't think this is vintage. It's totables. I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, I don't personally think that you have to buy only things that you like. Does that make sense? Like you can resell things that you don't like. That's okay. This is Chico's. I don't know why this didn't sell. I think this came from my stepmom. Um... Just like a little vest, kind of boho, very small size. A zero is, uh, is a zero small? Chico's, hold on, three is extra large, two is large, one is medium, zero is small. There you go. Uh, this is Columbia. Again, just very basic. I thought it was kind of cool with like the color blocking, but I don't know. I might put it on, it's freezing out here. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but... I'm talking about it. Um, I thought my flannel was going to be enough, but it is not. I'm cold. All right. Some more vintage things that are just kind of weird. This is gingham with apples embroidered on it. I don't know. Um, so a year ago, I was within my first year of reselling. So a lot of this is experimentation and going on my gut and not realizing that sulfur rate is important. This is another vintage denim. Real good denim by Allsport. It's made in Hong Kong. But again, it has like this embroidery on it. I don't know. I don't see people wearing that. Do you see people wearing that? <laughs> um, for a while, I had sold like three, two or three like silk vintage bomber jackets. And so then I found a bunch of them and I bought all of them. And no, which one did not sell? I don't know yet. I haven't heard. You haven't heard yet? I have not heard yet. Okay. Can you please text her one more time? Uh, after I'm finished with this, I will. Sure. Okay. This is a vintage denim jacket, again, with the embroidery. Um, I think actually all the denim embroidered stuff, I had like four or five of them that I, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I had like four or five of them that I listed. A couple sold, I took a couple out a while ago, but I bought them all at like the same garage sale or something. So this actually did sell. All of these items, what I've done is um, when I pulled them out, I delisted them from eBay and Poshmark. And then I put them back on eBay for about a week, uh, starting at a $5 auction. And this did sell. They just haven't, the person hasn't paid for it yet. So this is a little North Face beanie. Um, this is... Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand, when I first started, would almost always sell for like $15. But, you know, when I was finding stuff for a dollar, 15, a dollar into 15 felt really good. But then it stopped selling. So, um, 
for a while it was like everything lucky brand would sell and then it was like only plus size was selling and now none of it is selling but this is a size small but it does have like embroidery on it and has the like boat like this was the lucky brand style that that sold for me but like i said not anymore this is a linen jacket that has some embroidery on it I don't know. Uh, kind of a no-name, nothing. Linen, just in general, sells really well for me, but Land's End was another brand that I would just buy kind of without thinking about it. Um, this is a windbreaker, pullover windbreaker. It's vented in the back, but it's yellow. I don't know. I feel like yellow's not... A super popular color. I wish I could say like this is exactly why these things haven't sold but I don't really know. I can only guess. Um, my three main guesses are they're oversaturated, too many are listed, not enough sold. I have them overpriced um, or there's some flaw that you know nobody just Nobody wanted it based on the flaw. This is Lane Bryant. Lane Bryant usually sells really well for me. Again, animal print. I don't think it's a thing anymore. I don't know. Is it a thing? This is Ann Taylor again. Career wear. Usually with the ruffles they were selling, but this is extra, extra small. Actually, this feels like it's silk. Is it silk? Hmm, no, it's not. My hands are frozen. This also sold in the auction. Check this buddy out. Yeah, so a very uh, rhinestone-y uh, blazer. But they haven't paid yet, so who knows. This is Coldwater Creek Linen. I'm really actually surprised this one hasn't sold. It's a size large and it is fully linen, like 100% linen. And it has this great embroidery on the bottom, but it didn't sell. So I think maybe because it's like a jacket versus a shirt, I don't know. Some of these I'm wondering too, like, do I just retake the pictures and do it again? I don't know. Again, linen. This, I think it's because it's sheer. <laughs> um, Cynthia Rowley is the brand. I only buy Cynthia Rowley if it's 100% linen. This, if it wasn't sheer, I would keep for myself. And again, pink. I don't, I'm not really a pink person. This is, again, Columbia. We're seeing some, some returns of brands here. Um... I'm very, very thankful that I had YouTube first starting out because I would not have known some brands to pick up and I would have probably only bought things like Columbia and thankfully I didn't and I bought other things. So ASOS is one, here's the thing, here's, here's the caveat to that. Um, you know, sometimes you hear YouTubers say like, oh, this brand is wonderful, da, da, da. And then you go out and you're like, oh, excited. And um, then you don't check on your own. <laughs> so I always advocate, like, look up sell-through rate. I usually share sell-through rate, even when I'm doing like a haul, a thrift haul. But um, I decided not to do that today. <laughs> so this is ASOS, which is one of those things that I had heard like, oh yeah, ASOS sells super well, but this didn't. It was new with tags even. Um, I don't think overall ASOS has a great uh, sell-through rate. These are Theory. I think these came from my stepmom as well. Theory is one of those brands that retails um, kind of, you know, mid, mid to high end. And it doesn't really resell very well. So I have sold some theory um, like shorts, like 
Bermuda shorts. All right, these are both vintage. They're the same brand. I'm just gonna show you one, basically. Um, they're vintage Sears. Anyway, they're just short sleeve white button ups. One has like a textured stripe or a monochromatic stripe and one's just regular. These did not sell, I don't know. I guess you have to want that certain style. Again, vintage, a lot of vintage stuff. Because again, I was buying just a lot of vintage. This is made in Russia, it's wool, but it is this very intense green color that, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I do have quite a few blazers that did not sell. And so I'm kind of putting those aside in a certain, in a pile to see if I have some that are the same sizes that I could list as like a, a bundle, a set. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. These are vintage jeans. They're LA blues. They didn't sell. <laughs> They're very like perfectly mom style, you know? My guess is they will definitely sell in the consignment sale. So this is a North Face jacket. This is actually, I think, the Denali jacket, which I hear a lot sells, um, but I've had this for over a year and I didn't even have it listed very high, I don't think. I could be wrong about that. This is a very cool looking Adidas jacket. Uh, I don't do great with uh, athletic wear for some reason. And this is a, uh, oh, this is Torrid. Torrid is something that I do fairly well with. My overall, my personal like sell through rate on it is like 40% the last time I checked. Um, but this is just kind of a, random button up that actually maybe I should try it <laughs> uh just didn't sell for whatever reason uh Columbia again uh, see I stopped buying Columbia but apparently a year ago or a year and a half ago so these were things that were bought anywhere in 2022 so some of them I have had for almost two years at this point um and I only started reselling in 2021 at the end, like in December, not December, sorry, October. Here's another jacket, blazer. This one's Talbot's. That is a vintage Talbot's tag, I believe. Uh, this one is kind of like a, has a tweed look to it. I don't know if that's actually tweed. Tweed is one of those things I really need to like look up and know if what I think it is is actually what it is. Um, oh, here we go, another blazer. So, I mean, I've got a lot of, a lot of blazers. Um, again, wool, vintage. Got a lot of like size 12s. Hey, hey, zebra stripe. <laughs> this is Chico's, I think. Yep, Chico's zebra stripe jacket. Zebra stripe just isn't the thing. And, oh, this is Polo Ralph Lauren. But this is a, a very basic plaid button up. Not very exciting. And that's like purple and green, which is kind of unusual, I think. We're getting towards the end. This is a little coat I thought was so cute I found at the bins. It's actually like reversible. It's embroidered with San Francisco on it. I don't know. I've had that for like almost two years, but no takers. That's all right. This is a NFL jacket. It's actually um, Sports Illustrated embroidered and then also the Indianapolis Colts, which is a football team, which is why, you know, has the NFL on it. <laughs> This is a vintage sweater. It's like the only vintage sweater in this pile, which I am keeping in like a bin to do something with. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my vintage sweaters. 
I might put them on like marketplace. Like, hey, I have 20 vintage sweaters. Who wants them for $200? I don't know. Maybe that'll work. I think that would work. Would you try that? Let me know if you would try that. Anyway, this is Puritan. It's made in the USA. It's medium. It's acrylic. Very basic and boring and plain. That needs to go over there. Um, just grabbing the rest. Here we go. So, oh, I think this is Matilda Jane again. <laughs> yeah, Matilda Jane. Super cute little dress, right? Actually, I wonder if one of my daughters might want that. That might fit my 13 year old. Um, if not, it'll sell. Matilda Jane goes nuts. People go nuts for Matilda Jane at the uh, consignment sale, so I'm not worried about it. This is Land's End, I think. And Land's End swimsuits I've had success with, um, but mostly in women's, but I don't know, maybe that style. Actually, I think the bum was kind of pilly, yeah. On this one, it was a, one of those things I didn't notice, but I probably paid too much for that. Oh, this one I'm sad about. I definitely paid too much for this. Um, so Columbia, again, but this is actually Columbia PFG, which is one that's supposed to sell well. Um, and I do think I sold another um, kind of athletic performance dress like this. This is a maxi dress. Um, it's like blue and white striped. Um, I know I sold one similar in a Patagonia really fast for, I think, $35. Um, but this just, this wasn't it. <laughs> I don't know. That I think will sell in the consignment sale as well. Again, Columbia. This is a little like hiking skirt. It even has ripstop. I don't know if you're familiar with ripstop. That's not showing up very well. My, um, I put my lamp in a different spot and I think it was a mistake. Um, uh, anyway, they have these little squares in the material. So, um, it's great for like hiking, fishing and stuff. So when you, um, you know, tear something on a branch, it stops the rip from happening. This is Bowden. I don't find Bowden a lot and I pulled a lot of Bowden out. So I hear Bowden a lot from other resellers, but it has, I've not had super success with it. And then Chico's is the last thing. This is another dress. It has like a kind of a high low hem. It's uh, let's see. Yeah. Midi length. I don't know. I'm also like not super great at keywords, so I think probably if I learned keywords better, maybe I would have better success selling kind of more basic, I don't know, things. So let me know if you, if anything surprised you, uh, if you're like, yeah, Jen, you uh, learned a lot in the last couple of years, and that was all kind of just shouldn't have bought that in the first place. I don't know. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on the subject. Do you, if you're a reseller, if you're not, that's fine too. Uh, do you take stuff out of your inventory? I've heard it both ways. Um, some people like me like need the space, kind of want the refresh. Some people are like, no, I put the time and the effort in to take the pictures and list the things and I'm going to keep it there until it sells. And I think that's fine too, especially if you have the space for it. If you've got a big warehouse or whatever, then absolutely. I just don't have the space. So um, hopefully I answered kind of why I'm doing this, why I think they didn't sell. Uh, if you have other questions for me, please leave them in the comments. I think that's it. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you so much. I'll see you soon.